No, Noah's getting, we had a great Noah's life. getting pretty silly. I'm not talking about <laughs> Noah anymore. <laughs> Why? Because he's fucking nuts. You destroyed him. Did I? I don't even. He tried. Uh, he made a thread thinking he would bury you because of the power of his uh, celebrity yeah. gossip forum, and it did fuck all. No, nah, yeah, it was actually almost helpful. <laughs> Uh, the people are like, oh, Vito tried to call a cop? That's kind of cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh, I just... I don't you don't know. want to talk about him? I have a bunch of clips from him, too. Sure. Yeah, go not... I mean, <laughs> no, no, if, we can do it later at the yeah, end, I guess. Yeah. Steve Miller for five. My wish is Dick and Josh could be friends again. You two are great together. Vito to leave. I have to quit the show for you guys to be friends again, apparently. Well, I think even if even if you and I didn't work together anymore, because Null has uh, lied to his audience. Yeah, I mean, he's... Gaslit himself, I think. He's convinced himself and his audience that you're a legitimate pedophile. Yeah, he's like... I think even... Well, I'm not going to speculate. Again, I just don't even want to talk about Null because there's like nothing to say. Yeah. He's uh, just even like, then, though, he's on he's on some new level of... Like, he's going after Nick for... He's just like... He's, he's like a puritanical figure now where any sort of sex is evil and weird and he calls everyone he doesn't like some permutation of like some degenerate sex crime that he's totally inventing on the fly even though he's the only one like out of me and Nick Riccata, uh <laughs> and Null mm. two of the three of us have satisfying relationships with a woman right and one of us is a 300 pound sysadmin for an e-celebrity gossip forum yeah it's like I, uh, it's weird how much they like pick apart your guys relationships with women I'm, like with a woman. I've met 80s girl, obviously, and I'm like, wow, what a cool, stable relationship where everybody's having a lot of fun all the time. Yeah. You guys, like, go on vacations, <laughs> you, you know, you hang out. It's like that consent thing. Like, yeah, we're, do you consent? You can Null is back there. Come on. Oh, I don't consent. Like, yeah. I mean, man, I, okay. You guys are fun. 80s girl sent me, like, a message. Like, hey, there's a fun thing, you know? Yeah. I'm like, man, I wish I had a girlfriend who came up with fun events to go to and shit. So does Null. Well, yeah. I mean, so like, I don't understand obsessing over other people's fucking relationships and being like, "Oh, they must be miserable." And it's like, no, I think you guys are miserable. Like, I think you got look. He's like, uh, he's like all over Nick Riccati's relate. Like, uh, oh, they're secretly like uh, she's divorcing him, and it's like, man, what you're saying is just totally insane. I think it comes down to like. Look, a lot of young men are miserable right now. And, they have and every, then I'm gay. They have every right to be miserable. I get yeah. it. And that's why they all flock to, like, Jordan Petersons and shit. Guys who are going to tell them, well, if you just clean your room, everything will be fine. You know, they want quick, easy answers. Yeah. And part of that is to, you know, look at people who are kind of happy and successful. There must be I would some say sort of. You're very successful. You're very happy. I mean, I could, I'm as happy as I could be, which is not happy. But whatever. Your relationship is not like a poison fucking thing where you got to worry about, I don't know. Her running away with the kid and Mama J F. Yeah, you're not gonna get Mama J F. <laughs> which seems oh, pretty I could satisfying. Only wish for such a thing to happen to me. Yeah, my life. I'm like, I don't know, man. I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. Like, obviously, I need to make some changes, but yeah, one day at a time. And then I just, I think guys who are dissatisfied with their own situation, they want to go like, well, I don't like that this guy's not dissatisfied, or I'm gonna assume yeah. he is secretly dissatisfied. That's why they really jumped on the thing where, like, we kind of, like, had, like, what I'm going to say was kind of a joke fight about the fucking TV show. Okay? I'm like, yeah, oh, I lean yeah. into it because it's funny. And they're like, see, they hate each other. Did you see that? I mean, it's funny. Like, that picture was funny. But that wasn't in the, the treatment yeah. that you sent And in. also the part where you're like, you know, I'm like, I can't believe you made fun of my anime figurines. In the back of my head, I'm like, no, that was funny. Like, yeah. I totally get it. Uh, and then they like come up with uh, they love conspiracy theories where they're like uh, Dick is nagging Vito because he wants Vito to quit so him and Nick can do a show together. <laughs> and I'm like, guys, what are you like? What are you talking about? Why do you sit around all day coming up with this shit? Nick, first of all, Nick is not going to do a different show. He's making tons of money doing his show. It was it we're making money doing the, like our show. You can, uh, yeah. watch, you can actually watch, I know that watching that clip, you can make like wild assumptions of like, those I, guys hate each other, but if you actually watch this or watch like the uh, live show. Just, I mean, everybody, uh, somebody in the Discord clipped me a bunch of Null being uh, retarded, but yeah, you're we're right, having I don't even a, we're having, if I want to play it today. Dude, like, uh, here's the other thing is like, when you play it, for some reason, they go like, see, it really gets them, that's why they had to play it, and it's like, no, we're just playing it because it's crazy. Because it's retarded.
Uh, that you guys are like, biggest problem is ending. Nick's, Nick and Dick are going to do their own show. Vito's going to quit. And then they're all going to get sued. Eric July is going to sue all of them. <laughs> yeah, and then, and yeah. then they're all going to have to get lawyers. And it's and not then, funny. It's not funny. What they're doing to Eric July is not funny. It's not funny. It's criminal harassment. And it's not funny. I don't know why everyone says it's funny because yeah. it's not. And then you say this, and yeah. they go, see, they're coping and seething. And you're like, you oh, can't. Yeah. They're playing the You Mad game, which everyone should vote up. See, they're really mad. They are, right now. I've never we're, seen we're Null furious. so mad. Yeah, <laughs> um, that's why we're laughing. Like I don't even know how to address it because it's just like you can't win if you say something about it. You're coping and seething. If you say nothing about it, they go see. They're afraid to talk about I it. I just want to know how many push-ups Null can do. Well, if, can you do more push-ups than Null? Not at this point. How many know. push-ups can? Don't say how many push-ups you can do. Have a number in your head. Sure. Okay. Okay. Do you think it's more or less than the push-ups Null can do? I, I, I would think so. You think it's more? Has anyone shown a picture of Null? Because I assume the fact that there are no pictures of him that he must it's be- a bad sign. He's got to be huge. He's got to be ashamed. <sighs> can he's... Vito- The only question I'm interested in is, can Vito do more push-ups than Null? <laughs> we'll find that's out. That's the only thing that matters. We'll find I, out. I mean, that's the only thing that matters. That's all that matters. Jose M for four ninety nine. Eliza Clips and Ripetard Gold Post are the gifts that keep on giving. Their purpose completely backfired on them. What's Eliza? Is that uh, that's the person who keeps clipping Null, complaining about oh. us? Uh, which again, I <laughs> Null, th Null thinks that um, the reason I'm making fun of Eric July is because of cuties. Yeah, that's part of it. <laughs> they just have all these. <laughs> it's weird how they're all like little like psychologists, where they go, "Well, the reason." They said this. Why are you guys single? Let's yeah. start there. <laughs> Why are you single? It's like maybe we're just doing it because it's funny, or we think it's funny, or we're in. I've already told people. People are like, "Why do you? Why did you ever care about Eric?" Here's a question. Wait. Yeah. Here's. I got two questions. Um. Uh. Who can do more push-ups, Vito or Null? Second question. Would you rather? Um. Would you rather be caught with a Kiwi Farms account or an account on a dog raping forum? <laughs> There's the question. Which one is which, which one is, is more worse. of a turn off? Well, to uh, women, to yeah. whomever. You want to hear this one? I, I had a feeling, and I could be wrong, but I kind of feel that when it comes to the Maddox lawsuit, uh -huh. mm. it, even if like Dick is only making like half of what his Patreon says, I have a feeling wait, wait, that wait, the wait. lawsuit. Wait, wait, wait. What? Did you hear that? Even if you're making only half of what they think your Patreon numbers Patreon are says. fake. They think the. They think I'm putting fake credit cards into Patreon? Yes. And paying myself money? Yes. And then paying which would be Patreon 10% of that? Which would be the most convoluted- And then paying the government 50% of that because it would be on the 1099? Yes. It's a very bad money laundering scheme. And he's- that's what Null is entertaining? People don't understand that like podcast audiences are just like, want to listen to a podcast every week and they will pay for it. So I- fake credit cards. Right. Pay myself. You have to make hundreds of fake accounts. You have to get hundreds of fake credit cards. Let's just say I have to do one. Okay, one that's giving you six grand a month, which would immediately be flagged. Well, by my Patreon would be eight. Right. Eight or nine. So it would immediately be flagged by Patreon's trust and safety team because they'd Let's be like, say it's why not. did this guy? Let's say it's not. Sure. Get through that. Giving nine grand. An unlimited money card that I can deposit nine grand. I guess I get frequent flyer miles. That's always good. And then I'm paying 10% of that to Patreon. Right. 2% to the credit card companies right. whom I loathe. Right. And, and then, then I'm 1099 the myself that money cuz Patreon controls 1099. When you could just buy what Bitcoin and put it in an offshore account. Okay. And never touch it. Let's go and pass that one. Sure. I have a feeling that the lawsuit made him so much money from driving new people to his show. That he made, he's one of the few people, I think he even said this literally word for word, that he's one of the few people in the world who's made money from a lawsuit without winning, like, <sighs> monetary damages. And okay. I have a feeling that if you were to ask- Is he saying that I'm, I'm provoking Eric July into another lawsuit on purpose to I make guess, money? I guess. It, but if you wanted to provoke him into a lawsuit, you would, like, do something that he could actually sue you for. Well, I didn't do anything to Maddox, and he sued me. I just made fun of him. Yeah. And some scumbag also, took advantage like, of it. It's them. really hard to. I mean, it should be. Let's be clear. Nothing we did was a good way to provoke a guy into a. Like, literally, he was crazy. I had no idea he would be this retarded. Yeah. And that he has the entire white griftosphere wrapped around his finger. We also couldn't plan for some random guy to email him and, like, the amount of convolution this plan to get Eric July to sue us would involve. I just want to be clear on something. Um,. And I don't want to get money. sued, so if that's your I, secret plan- I didn't make plan, money because Maddox sued me. I made money off of that because I'm entertaining. 
It also, wasn't the lawsuit. You were all you, the show was already making money before you got sued too, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it obviously like, helped. went into the stratosphere though. Every time you did something stupid. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's hear the rest of this. I actually, tried to estimate the actual damages of Eric July that has received from Nick Masterson. It's okay. not enough to really justify a lawsuit. Uh-huh. And if he did okay. try to sue Dick, then Dick would make more money from Patreon and the content of the lawsuit. Uh-huh. Than he would from the paying damages. his attorneys to defend him from the lawsuit. And even if he lost, he would still probably make, from actual lost. damages, he would still probably make more money. I think that he is now actually wording himself to try and get sued, <sighs> to give Eric July enough of a case where he feels confident going into a lawsuit because Dick has already done the oh, math. Yeah. The math the lawsuit, to man. try and provoke that from him. And make money from LOL lawsuit 2.0. Don't you yeah. have enough money he, that you don't need to provoke that lawsuits? Make more money from the I don't even know what he's talking. Wouldn't about. you rather just like? And you have like projects that you're working on that can make I don't like be way sued. more money. It's annoying. Yeah, it's very wants, fucking annoying. Nobody is running secret calculus to go. <sighs> if a crazy black comic book guy sues me, I'm gonna monetize it through. But first of all, we don't. There's no way to know that like that's gonna get people to sign up for a podcast. You can say yeah, I work for Maddox, but Maddox was kind of a different more ridiculous situation i mean he was more retarded than eric eric's pretty fucking retarded though uh again these guys just come tedious let's do it save it for another show okay again these guys just gotta wake up before we. these guys just sit around and they go oh no they're trying to secretly get sued and it's like bro i don't want to get sued yeah dick if that's your plan it's a shitty plan please stop but i don't think that's your plan now it's in my head now it's in my head yeah i can't get rid of we're gonna get rich by letting eric july sue us you're gonna get rich I guess. All right. I don't think that's true. All right. All right. If you want me to get rich, buy Super Killer. Show me the list of our top supporters. Guys, one more time. Don't forget. Sign up at Biggest Problem. uh, Patreon.com slash Biggest Problem. Let me see what else I have. As well as. (laughs) Yeah, you got plenty of clips. Play them on your fucking show. Well, no, it's not. It's about you, though. You're involved. All right. Play another clip, though. He's explaining charity fraud on this one. This is so obnoxious. I don't know. It's just very tedious. It's just listening to. to people just be so blatantly wrong. About oh, your tough. intentions and what you're trying. Like, everybody always telling me, like, oh, Vito, you only say that because you want attention. I'm like, no, I genuinely believe, like, yeah. bullshit, you know? Uh-huh. Current gripe is that Ripper ripped off the, um, right, the, a, a charity. There was a, cha- okay, again, I'm not the sharpest tool in the show. spit it out! But I tried to ask for some clarification. Uh-huh. And I spoke to a lawyer about this, who a lawyer who is wow. familiar with incorporating charities and nonprofit oh. law. Okay. About what I assume to be the situation. Okay. Okay. And what I've been okay. informed to be the situation. Is okay. That okay. Eric July sold his comic books for thirty five dollars. Yeah. Already wrong. Um, well, that's how which much Which is it was apparently a lot customer. for a comic book. Well, it's yeah. an independent publisher and you're trying to support the parallel economy. Sure. Well, sure. Well, pay a little bit more. Ripa wanted to support a comic book charity that gave right. comic books to, I believe, the purpose of the charity was that they took comic books and they gave them out to children in hospitals. So uh-huh. kids are in sick beds, they need entertainment. So here's a comic book, here's right. um, so, and that's okay. the purpose of, right. or of the nonprofit. Ripa here's wanted a, to support the charity. something that will make you happy and about dying. To get free advertising, which is why any any company in the world that supports a charity supports it to get free advertising and get their name out there sure, so and sell comic book books, right? Mm-hmm. That's any company. It doesn't matter what the product yes. is, they're out there to pr- promote themselves and also do a charitable cause. Uh-huh. So it's like, it's right. free advertising. Right. It's uh-huh. a tax write-off. That's the point of it. So he does it. He sells his comic book for $17. And if you buy multiples, um, it's cheaper per book. So if you buy two comic books, it's $13 at the discount donation nonprofit rate. Wait, what do you mean? It's cheaper to donate a... a I'll keep listening. Dick alleges yeah. that mm-hmm. um, this is fraud. There well, was apparently, because you could potentially order more comic books and get a bulk discount, that means that there is yeah. still a profit margin yes. in, donating those, uh, in the donated comic books that went to RIPA. Right. So he's saying that because you could buy multiple comic books and reduce no. the profit margin of the seller... No. That therefore, Ripple was making money off proceeds that should be going. No, I'm saying making money off yeah, all he was of it. Making money before all it of it because I'm not retarded. Discount. I know how much a fucking comic book costs, like two bucks. The nonprofit. He made profit. Um, I'm pretty sure. I don't. Number one, in the literal definition of fraud, oh. that's not true. That is not actually. Where's fraud. the money? Um, Where's the money? As then? far as taxes go, 
there are some caveats to making money. Okay, so literally it's not fraud, but as far as taxes go, it There's might some be. Caveats. So yeah, caveats. literally caveats. is literally is less restrictive than tax wise. Is that what I'm hearing? I'm pretty sure you. I'm. I'm I don't, I'm pretty sure you can't write off operational costs on, your, on the IRS. Why people can't comprehend that we're like, I feel Where's like. Where's the money? I feel like profiting off charity is immoral. That's it. I, f I find it personally immoral to make money off charity. Yeah. So why is, it, why is that like people are like, well, blah, 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 well literally, blah, it's blah, literally, blah, it's blah, not. Blah, blah. Now, legally, tax-wise, okay. it might be. I think it's a shitty, th I think it's a <laughs> okay. shitty thing to do. I think it's a shitty way to sell comics. Yeah. I think it's immoral. What about the we pay half thing? Do you hear Eric say that? We pay, yeah, he said we technically pay half. Yeah. All right. Let me hear the rest. Fucked. Let me hear the rest of this. No this is sense. a lawyer, by the way, that, gave, lawyer that, uh, gave him that this. told them this information. thing. You have to be careful with that. And as far as a moral thing goes, you know for a fact Dick Masterson does not care about the ethics of anything. Dick, oh. Dick Masterson, Dax Herrera, Juju the Cow, I could <laughs> literally sell your child to be raped to death by Harvey Weinstein if it meant the biggest problem in the universe would be a TV show and he could say that he got one TV show into production. Oh my God! Wow. He's seething! Harvey Weinstein didn't rape any kids, no? That was Epstein. He's he can't helping. give me a TV deal. He's I'd have to give I'd have to give Harvey Weinstein a full grown woman. See, what I, you, keep your pedophile straight. What are you talking about? It's all the coping and see everyone's coping. <laughs> Can you hear seething. that seething in his voice? That sure. seething hatred? Sure. He has no morals at all. Not like me. I have more morals than anyone. Well, I see that as an argument against you is that like people go like, well, Dick doesn't actually care about a charity. Okay, so is there fraud off. or not? So just tell him. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, no morals. Yeah, yeah. So is there fraud? It doesn't matter if you actually do, but I think you do. From what I've talked to you, and you said no, this is fucked. Listen to this that. seething hatred he has. <laughs> Nick Masterson, Dax Herrera, Juju the Cow, oh. would literally sell your child sell to be raped child. to death by Harvey Weinstein. Raped to death. Raped to death by Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> I don't believe that. Oh my god! I don't think you would do that to a child. Raped to death for a TV show. I'm gonna sell your child for the. Yeah. Because so, a pedo would veto. People are saying uh, the Patreon overlay is still up. Is that fine? Uh, okay. I don't know if people want to see us. <laughs> anyway. His problem in the universe would be a TV show, and he could say that he got one TV show into production, even for one episode. I mean, I've had TV shows in production before. Also, that show's not getting made. We know that. <laughs> Like we, it's kind of a goof. wait. Was this wait? 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 I'm sorry. Is this the response to me thinking Eric July pocketed ten grand from his charity fraud scheme and was gonna do eighteen until I got involved? Don't call it charity is, fraud. Why? I mean, call it whatever you want. Uh, Vito, what else did it? What it I don't be? know. I don't know any. Le I don't know any legal definition. Neither do all I. I know is I find it immoral. Did someone profit did. from this or not? Does the charity deserve more money or not? Yes. So then what is it? And he's also not the only guy doing it. I think everybody should doing it should stop. Uh, uh, just give money was that to the that response charity. To, was that the response to me suspecting someone's doing charity fraud is I'll you sell your raped, kids to yeah. have a team to get raped by Harvey Weinstein? Their argument not is that you're not allowed to ever have any moral stance against anything because in the past you've, I don't know, guess. Uh, what did I do? Made jokes about how you don't care about anything. Yeah, when, when you're very you're very upset by this. I can tell. You're not comfortable talking about this. No, no, I'm comfortable talking. Well, you're it's, drawing like, frantically well, mazes I just, I just, and labyrinths. Cause <laughs> it is a pretty nice little uh, labyrinth idea. Yeah. It's just I listen to these guys and I'm like, listen. I know you live in this like fantasy world where Dick is like this comical uh -huh. Joker type character who cares yeah, only yeah, about yeah. chaos and madness. Yeah, but like you guys get that's a bit, right? Like no, 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 no. Nothing's a bit. Nothing's a bit. <laughs> okay. Uh, here, just one episode. He would sell children to Harvey Weinstein to be raped to death on Epstein Island if it would get his TV show. Wait, wait. Weinstein is raping kids on Epstein's island? He's got. He's mixing up his sex criminals. He's. Because he's getting so turned on describing <laughs> raping kids that he's Look, getting his stains mixed I'm, up. <laughs> <laughs> How is that a defense of a guy doing charity know. fraud? Uh, he's just saying charity fraud. Actually, he would sell kids to be raped, and he will rape kids. He'll sell kids to be raped on an island of Ep Einstein, Einstein, Weinstein, and Epstein <laughs> yeah, Einstein are going to rape kids so kids. he can get a television show just so he can say that he has a television show. Again, I guess I, I, I'm just... <laughs> I don't. <laughs> how it, much angrier could you be? If you were angry, how would it sound? I just. This all is weird. Yeah. It's exhausting to have these people constantly coming up with new theories about why you do what you do. Yeah. And it's like, well, I genuinely think it's shitty that he made money off of charity. That's it. Yeah. 
Why does there have to be a secret motive for everything you or I do? Like, why can't it just be like, oh, di- well, I mean, like, yes, we just dis- hate us. Part of the reason I dislike Eric July is I think he's a piece of shit asshole. And he's the kind of guy charged with multiple would, felonies. Yeah. And he's the kind of guy yeah. who would rip off a charity. And you can't go, well, you already hated him. So now you're not all that care about that. I hate I'm him because like, he's an asshole. No, I can hate about other shitty things he does yeah. on top of the shitty things I know he's already done. Yeah. You can't go, because you already hated him for one shitty thing, you're not allowed to hate him for another shitty thing. Yeah. Because then you're biased against him for being shitty, and it's like... I don't think Noel would ever rip off a charity. I don't think not. the quartering would ever rip off a charity. No, I'm annoyed with what they say, but I don't... I, I wouldn't don't. accuse them of it unless there was, like, something Some where, kind of discrepancies. So they again, went on a show and started mumble-fucking their way through an explanation. And I thought it was fucked up before Eric July did it, because other comic creators have done it, and I think I said things about it, and then he did yeah. it, and I'm like, oh, now Eric July, a millionaire? Like, again, a guy who raised... Kids deserve that Because before, money. when it was, like, little, tiny comic creators making, yeah. like, you know, a little amount on their thing, bucks. I'm like, well, it's yeah. kind of shitty, but at the end of the day, it's not, like, a big amount of whatever. But then yeah. Eric July, a guy who's, like, a millionaire and could just give away literally hundreds of copies of his comic that cost him Wrapped $2 in plastic, to print. Put it on the frame. It cost him $2.50 to print it. He could have just sent them a thousand copies and it would have cost him 2000 bucks, which is like a drop in the bucket. Yeah. But instead he got everybody to give him money to do it. I just like that anytime... I, I know I'm just spinning any, talking about Any the same criticism shit. that I give, the response is, well, he would, he would, he would let uh, Harvey Weinstein rape kids. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a good argument against you, I guess. <laughs> you have his number? I'll yeah. get Let me text well, up Weinstein. You're Weinstein, you're in now. Hollywood. I'm in Hollywood. Look, buddy, I got some juicy kids for you. I know you don't fuck kids. You fuck actresses, but uh, you're missing out. Also, the idea that we are so morally bankrupt that we would let children be raped to get a TV show. <laughs> like, you guys know that's... I mean, I... I, I, I Can you imagine? I hope you're being <laughs> hyperbolic. Like, I hope that's like, okay, I know they wouldn't actually do that, oh, but it's he like. Oh, fucking knows it's not true. Bro, that's insane. Bell knows that's retarded. If someone said, I'm going to give you a TV show, but you have to, you know, let this kid get raped, I'd go, no. I'm calling the cops. Yeah. What are you talking about? No, no, I don't want some. I mean, TV shows are fun and all, but like they go for like, what, a season or two? Yeah. And you get a couple grand. It's not a big deal. And also, deal. I feel like as I'm, you know, working on the TV show in the back of my mind, I'd be like, Hey, what about that kid who got raped? I'd feel pretty bad about that. <laughs> Why wouldn't I turn them in and then go to the papers and say, hey, everybody, I stopped a rape. Bitch. These people all live, they're living in like a cartoon. Again, that's why this Eric July shit is like crazy. Uh huh. Is all these guys live in this cartoonish comic book universe where they think genuine comic book villains exist. And, and that's it's me. Us. Yeah, We've it's been us. manifested into reality. Yeah. We're Chad Ron or whatever the fuck. Chad we're, the, we're the big monster that killed that lady. The whole the whole folder is full of. This I know, which seething. is why why even get into it? All right, all right, it'll all right, go right, on I'm forever because now they're gonna clip this show and go see they're seething, <laughs> they're mad. Look, they and raise they their voice slightly, us. and then you know it's just it, it will never crossover. End. It's crossover. It's not good crossover. You have to harvest retards. You I have to. I understand. It's just <laughs> it's gonna be the same arguments forever. No, no. It get, they Dick start getting more amped up. to sell children, to make it in Hollywood. Oh, he's Vito, seething Vito, Vito. and he's mad. I just, honestly, honestly, I look at the Kiwi Farms guys and I go, I feel bad for you guys. Like, just, yeah. I know you're looking, you, you want justice in the world, I get it. Yeah. You want bad people to be punished. You're obsessed with it. And you've decided, you know, we're bad people and we need to be punished. Uh-huh. And I would argue to you, we're just making a podcast. No, I'm tr- I'm maliciously uh, you're maliciously I'm interfering maliciously with a black man's interfering business. With a business, a yeah, business, exactly. Yeah, by making fun of a comic book. Yeah, the world's not as interesting as people want it to be. That's what it always comes down to. It's really fun to come up with ideas of like after me and Dick end the show, we go, how can we destroy? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like I gotta get I gotta find a kid bro, to I'm, send to Epstein yeah. to send to Weinstein so he can take him to Epstein's island. It's like bro, when the show ends, I'm gonna drive home and I'm gonna pass out. Like there is no scheming. There is no behind. You might the pass scenes. out before you get home. I, eh, I'm a I'm a sleepy boy. Come on, that shit's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I want people to just live in reality for once, oh. you know? Stop ascribing secret behavior to everybody. It's crazy. Yeah. All right. Which is just me coping and seething. Yeah, you, that is a cope. That's a cope. That's a cope. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.